Okay, so first up, let's go ahead and. Yeah, so this. I bought, I think, five solder rolls. And I'm pretty sure this is not legal or whatever for priority mail, right? It's supposed to fit in the box. Look at this shit. Look at that. It's bursting at the seams. Okay. So, let's go ahead and just... Yeah. Too thick. Jesus, look at that. That's hilarious. Okay, so for those of you who ask what sort of solder you should use, this is what you should use. Hopefully they send me the right stuff. Okay, yeah. So this is what you should get. All right, so I'm restocking. Put a bunch of solder in. So test their solder. Look at that. This is 0.8 millimeters. So I would say this is the best girth or thickness for most people. The the solder wire that is. All right, so 63, 67, thir no, 6337, yeah. Leaded, rosin core. So just get this. And I always say, even if you can't afford a nice soldering iron, at least get decent solder. Because if you get decent solder, it'll be easier to work with, easier to desolder if anything goes wrong or if you change your mind. So because it's easier to desolder, it's easier to work with, it will mean less risk of damaging your PCB, less risk of lifting anything or any shit like that. All right, so solder, get good solder all right and now we've got the box royals look at that so i got this in from nk north korea all right we just looked at the keyword from south korea this is from its counterpart let's check it out Got a letter from Kim Jong Un himself. I'm gonna read that. All right, so we got box royals. We've got I bought more stabilizers. I do need to buy seven U stabilizers. I just realized. Okay, someone remind me to buy seven U stabilizers. I need to buy a bunch. I have pretty much run out, and so I need to get seven U stabilizers. Okay, so screw in stabilizers, right? Nothing you haven't seen before. This is what we use for pretty much all the builds nowadays. So get this and you will not regret it. Okay, so it comes with stickers. More North Korea shilling. Let's say novel way to spell North Korea. Right, yeah, so I swear this is not a Novel Keys sponsored stream. I know this mat is from Novel Keys. These switches and uh, stuff from Novel Keys. I swear. Okay, so it comes with a nice custom bag, right? For the Royal, Purple Royal, Royal Purple, whatever. These names, I'm, I'm telling you, man. So annoying. So when you're trying to buy a car, and you're like, oh, can I get the black? No, you mean the obsidian black. Can I get, can I take a look at the, no, I, I'm interested in the gray. You mean the deep slate gray? 
Whoa, calm down, dude. I'd like to get the red. You mean the Norwegian apple red. Okay, so let's take a look at the switches. Purple box switch. So these are supposed to be tactile, super tactile. They're supposed to be the tactile equivalent of the box navy switches. All right, so heavy spring, heavy actuation, heavy bottom out. The nice thing is, wait, what? Wait, okay, so the housing is different too. Huh. Can you not put LEDs in them? Okay, so the housing is different from a standard box switch. Okay, so you look at your standard box switch. You see that the top is, the front is also a slope, triangular or whatever, right? On the box royals, it's got a flat front. And so I'm aware that the Hako switches has something similar so that you can put your LEDs in there. But I don't think that works with this because it's covered. Right? Can you see that? So I don't know how that works. See, it's, it's not a complete hole through the thing. See, so if I just get tweezers... Let's see. So there's plastic there. And there's plastic there too. So basically this makes it almost impossible to have in switch LEDs now. Because before, well, I guess you can still do it. It's just that you're more limited in terms of what size you can use, I think. Because yeah, it stops it now. So yeah, I don't know, that's weird. Okay, so that's the switch, not to. Oh wow. Yeah, so that is quite tactile. So Yeah, very sharp tactile. So it's almost impossible to not bottom out this thing. I think that for people who want a lot of tactility, this is the switch for them. They don't sound amazing, honestly. They're all right. I wouldn't say they sound garbage either. If people have been okay with Zillios and Gadron switches, I think this is, this is passable. Yeah, very plasticky sound for sure. I know for sure I won't really enjoy typing on these things, but I think it's a novel switch. And I am still going to build a board with these switches just for fun. Just so that when people come over, they can try it out, I guess. This is the same as the Hako housing. The Red Hawk says, just realized I was streaming this whole time, my page never refreshed. Oh, whoops. Whoops. And oh, zoology, yeah, I know I know how to put LEDs in box switches. I'm just saying that it's you've got less room to play with now compared to back then.
<laughs> might have, might need to pay extra to get them to cut the hole prop, prop, probably. Yeah. So that's the weird part that it has the flat recessed thing, but there's no hole. It looks like it's supposed to have a hole, but nothing. Brochure says, did you compare them to Zillios yet or did the unboxing just start? Yeah, we're just unboxing. So I will build a board with box squares. I bought 70 of these, right? So not enough to fix the tilted stem issue. So I know, who is it that just asked? VPR. Yes, these will have the tilt, the signature Kyle box switch tilt. And in fact, with the announcement of the Royals, Mike from Novel Keys actually came out for the first time in public to tell everyone that the tilt is within spec, it is norm normal and expected from box switches and that he will not accept any refunds or returns for tilted steps. So yeah, so that was first heard in this stream, on this channel, right? When I was working on the Tina with the burnt heavy box switches and that was a disaster and so that was the first time we really noticed a tilt problem because that was when boxes were still new and I've always been the one to mention it and so and I know of people from other uh, channels and content or whatever creator who have said no it's not a problem but well Mike came out and confirmed yes these still use the same general box switch design and will still have the tilt and the problem is with the actuator. It is off center, unlike cherry and or cherry style switches where the actuator is in the middle. So the actuator is on the right side, and so it pushes down against the stem, and so the whole stem will shift clockwise. Okay, so yeah, box switch, box royal switches. These almost sound more quiet than silence. Okay, so yeah, so because of how loud the plastic sound is, you don't hear the spring or the leaf. Okay, so box royals, let's go ahead and unbox them. I've just got so much stuff, I don't even know what's what. I'm just gonna open a bunch of stuff. If I accidentally open a box of dildos, well, fun day for everyone, I guess. Okay, so this is an address on I'm just gonna box it kinda awkwardly. I have no idea what I'm unboxing. This is probably a keyboard, but I just don't know what it is. It's, I want to say it's a KB75, but I might be wrong. Okay, so more stuff from Novel Keys apparently. So screw in GMK cherry stabilizers. The good stuff. Zillios, 67 gram Zillios. Yeah, see. Yeah, that to me I'd rather hear a Fox Royal than this sound, honestly. 
don't know. Then again, though, I guess when you're sitting far away with a full build with keycaps on, it'll be different, right? You don't hear the noise as much, especially if you're in a noisy environment. Wow, this box is kind of fucked. Okay, so yes, this is a KB75. So KB fans have started doing this nice thing where they include diodes. Do they include resistors? Resistors, I think, not diodes just in case some of them fall out from the PCB. So that's nice. You've got your rubber feet, PCB, case. So black KB75. All right, this is my 11th KB75 build. I wanna say 11th or 12th. I've lost count at this point, honestly. Again, nothing you haven't seen before, right? Honestly, box is so strange. Oh no, the bag is ripped. Why? So when you ship switches, just make sure to be careful. Don't forget that the pins are metal and very sharp, so they're gonna break any kind of thin plastic. <coughs> Excuse me. Oh, there's fucking dust. Okay, let's see, so this was ripped. I'll put this in a Ziploc bag.
So these switches, I believe these I believe these will be going in the jet fire. Yes, we did receive in our jet fire. It is a black jet fire. I think I will build that on stream as well. I'm not sure. Might as well, right? I have time. No school, so we've got time. Yeah, so that will be going in this bad boy right here. So another black jet fire. I, I tease, but so we'll do this. I'm not sure this week, but because I have a lot of other keyboards to build first, so probably next week. Okay, what else? So I've got box royals, put that aside. Yeah, so this week, quite a few builds I have to do. So I have to desolder the Corsa and then build that on Friday. I will also be building the KB75 and I'll be rebuilding a TX60, a black TX60, the one we unboxed, I think two weeks ago or something. Or three weeks. And then the TX65 that we unboxed today, the champagne one. And then the jet fire. I don't know if I have time for that one. And then I have to rebuild the pearl too. So I will hopefully be streaming at least half of those. So lots of streams this week, I think. Hopefully. Hey, what's up, Hangman420? No idea what these are. I'm gonna assume switches. Basically, when I receive packages, it's either keyboards or switches. It's a big, heavy box, and it's probably a keyboard. If it's a smaller than a keyboard size box, then it's probably switches. Yep, these are switches. Oh, I think these are going in the jet fire. Okay, so I think these are going to jet fire. So. So confused. What what about the other box? I think they're both vintage blacks. This is fun. I'll just have to check my email. Yeah, so because this looks like more switches. So I'm gonna assume this is gonna go in a jet fire. Hey, what's up, thick boy? Wow. Look at that! Look at that! Thank you for the resub. Five months in a row. The thickest foot long that ever ex that ever thicked. All right, so that's it for now. I don't know if I have anything else for now. So hopefully tomorrow we'll have a build stream or the day after. I'll I'll let you guys know. Just join the Discord. Keep an eye out over there. I'll let you guys know when I go live. All right, so. <laughs> Racist Anthony, all blacks look the same. Well, I'm Asian, so I understand. Okay, so thanks for all those who tuned in today. I will see you all in later in this in the week or on Friday for the OTD 360 Corsa build stream. Don't forget that. Okay, so anything else? If not, 
Good night. Have a good week ahead. Have fun on Monday. And I will see you all soon.